Did you call bank? I call game. What's up, Pack Nation? It's Pack Gaming here. This video is gonna be a top five list for NBA 2K18. I'll get over what we're gonna do in a second. But announcement, 35,000 VC giveaway for NBA 2K18, and it'll end tomorrow night. So if you want to win that, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, and then tweet at me done. Once you do that, I'll put you in a randomizer and you could win 35,000 VC. So there are players in the NBA that are just amazing. And for some reason, I cannot play good with them in 2k now this is mostly a whole biased video this is a an opinion video these are players that i think are really good in the nba but just are not good in 2k at all that i struggle to score with and of course it is mostly opinion based i'll give you reasons for why i think so in the case for every single player in 2k you just gotta learn how to use them and so clearly these five players i don't know how to use we're gonna start off at number five with carmelo anthony no matter what your opinion is on carmelo anthony he is one of the best scorers in nba history and i think we can all agree that he is not as good as cornrows mellow or early Knicks mellow or even hoodie mellow but he isn't bad either but carmelo anthony cannot make a shot to save his life in 2k sure he makes his wide open layups while well, considering it's 2k 18 and he will make his fadeaway layups and unrealistic dunks but it does not matter if you are wide open or contested carmelo anthony is brick city you'll do a great move with russell westbrook kick it to mellow and brick you'll fake someone out pump fake and then brick just give it to Paul George because Melo will make you want to burn your controller. At number four, it is Tim Hardaway Jr. Now, I'm not saying that Tim Hardaway Jr. is amazing or anything. He's just a 79 overall, even though he used to be an 81 overall. However, he cannot hit a single shot. He is super fast, athletic. He has a great feeling jump shot that's super quick, but every single open three is a miss. Every pull up mid range is a brick. He's short for his position, so he almost always get blocked in the paint. It just gets annoying. At number three, it is Jimmy Butler. I love me some Jimmy Jordan, but Jimmy Jordan is nothing like Jordan in NBA 2K18. He is an amazing scorer in the NBA, and as well, he's an amazing defender. He still has that defensive niche in the game, but I just can't score with him like I can with other guards. Maybe it's his jump shot or something else. I can't quite put my finger on it. A lot of people on Reddit have chose him as well to be the player that just isn't as good as he is in the NBA. At number two, it is Isaiah Thomas. And this is literally just because it's short. It's not even his fault. He does great in the league, but even though he has a great three-point shot, he struggles in 2K. If you drive, you get blocked. If you make a good move and shoot a three, you might get blocked. And then you get exposed on defense because all you have to do is shoot it right over Isaiah Thomas. And finally, at number one, it is Larry Bird. The reason why Larry Bird is bad is actually really simple. We can start with his jump shot. Not only is the animation just garbage and slow, but for some reason the shot almost always misses unless you get a perfect green release, which is hard for him to get. Larry Bird is extremely slow and unathletic, so he can't just drive it in the paint. He is extremely restricted in NBA 2K18, and a lot of the shots that he shoots, which are really silly or difficult, those types of players don't translate well in 2k because unless you're wide open you're not going to make those shots and that's it for this video guys i know that you might be disagreeing with me but who do you think is really good in the nba but you just can't do good with in 2k leave it in the comments below if you like my channel please give my channel a sub and i'll see you guys next time did you call bank